Hi, this is Charlie Demergen from Semi-Accurate, and we are here tonight to try to explain some of the technical problems behind all the voting machine irregularities that are happening right now, especially the touchscreen voting ir irregularities. There are two main problems, uh, unclean power and uh, electromagnetic interference, and we are here to mainly show the unclean power side. To do that, we have by phone a Motorola Photon, which is the Sprint version of the Atrix, and it uses what I consider to be a low-quality Atmel touchscreen controller. We also have two USB power supplies, a high-quality CyberPower combo adapter that puts out very clean power, and a no-name generic Augustar one that I pulled out of my parts bin that doesn't even have an FCC logo. To demonstrate this, we will be using a program from Synaptics, of the touch, uh, the touch controller uh, manufacturer, called Touch Explorer. You can download this from their website. Um, it is a very generic um, program, and it essentially allows you to test uh, most touchscreen controllers, even though this is not a Synaptics controller, it works very well. We are using the draw function here. I'm going to draw figure 8. Notice it's smooth, tracks correctly, tracks well. When you go to the high quality cyber power adapter, sorry, and plug it in, you get clean power and the draw feature works just like it did on batteries. Very clean and smooth. When you plug it into the low quality power supply with dirty power and run Touch Explore and hopefully hit draw, yes, it barely tracks, doesn't work right. I mean, that's not smooth. Oh, hey, there it goes. But you can see the problems. It, it almost doesn't work. When you click, it lags, it doesn't track right, and misses. So if there are boxes on the screen and I clicked one, you'd be very likely to miss. If you unplug it, it goes back to normal almost instantly. Another problem is... I fight this for most mornings. Can't unlock it. Oh, well, barely can unlock it. If you unplug it, you know, on battery, works just fine. Plug it in oops, to the high quality cyber power adapter. Again, works like it should. So this is one of the main problem. Well, this is one of the main problems that touchscreen voting machines may be having, unclean power causing interference or other interference. Please read the article for more on semiaccurate.com. This is Charlie Demergen, and I hope you've enjoyed this explanation. Thank you very much.